For today's vlog, uh, me and Sam decided to go over to the Mequon Nature Reserve in Mequon, which is north of Milwaukee. As it's getting pretty late and basically turning into winter, there wasn't really as much scenery as there we would have liked there to be. You know, most of the time there's a bit more fall colors. But uh, today there was near to none uh, leaves on the trees, which makes sense for about the time of the year that this was filmed in. The Mequon Nature Preserve was a pretty big area, however not the entire area is open to hiking. There's some that's used for farmlands and other community projects like that. So the hiking amount of space that we had was pretty small, so we decided that we were kind of going to do a whole loop around the uh, entire area. As you can see, we're near a forest right now, and we will get into that one way later, but we decided to kind of snake around it, go over into this other sort of forest and open field area. Overall, you know, it was a clear day with some clouds, and uh, by the end of the day, it was actually, the sun was covered up and it turned pretty cloudy, so, you know, it was a pretty day for a hike. And it was more like a nice sort of leisurely walk than a hike, to be honest. But it was very pretty, you know, just finding sort of beauty and solace in the small things that might not be traditionally in like these travel pictures. It's always a good thing that I, that I enjoy doing. by a little marsh area that was kind of cool. It was a small little almost pond type of thing and you know it hasn't rained in a little while so the water was definitely lower than normal as we walked into this sort of uh, uh, forest on I believe the north side of it, the preserve. We looped kind of around it and as you can see clouds are starting to form and the sun is almost covered up you know. We ended up walking pretty far down along this other visitor center side of it which had a little kind of playground and recreation area, as well as another cool kind of pond slash marsh type thing. Again, very, very low. Usually it's a lot higher up and it's better than better looking than this, but their rainfall's been not very much in the last few weeks. So there's that. I think that it's really cool that you can see all these uh, very pretty clouds and it's very cool to just kind of find that kind of beauty there. And it was, you know, sun setting earlier and earlier. So this is almost as the sunset. So it was really interesting to be able to kind of see these pretty cloud formations and the sun kind of peering through them as it goes down into the uh, west. Next, we started climbing up the observation tower. And this is kind of a, I mean, it's a pretty big, it's probably three or four stories, flights of stairs. And uh, it kind of looks over the entire preserve as it is. And you can see a lot more from up here, seeing a lot more of the uh, ponds and sort of things that you wouldn't really see as much if you were just on the ground or see as well if you were just on the ground. But it was pretty cool to see this nice view and you know, with the sun nearly setting in the background, it, it was just it was just nice overall view of everything, you know, it's just, it looked like Jesus is just peering through the clouds at that point with these like beams of light peer, pouring down onto the earth. Once we decided we were done with the observation tower, we walked back down to that original forest that we were in, and then here we are back at the sign. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Sub, sub, like, duh. Uh.